Hey guys, 11010 here, and we are back with Overwatch Beta. It has returned, and oh my, uh, they have a lot uh, to share with us. This is super exciting. Um, they have added so many things, uh, progression system being the main one, which I'm going to go through. And as you can see, if you've been watching previous videos or seen the beta play before, this menu has got a lot of extra stuff. So we're going to go through some of the main things and uh, show you what's going on. Um, we have a progression system now. If you see at the top right, my level is 5. And I'll go through and show you uh, what's going on with that. We have a new training mode, play mode. You can now do play versus AI, and a custom game. Uh, custom games are going to be great for like uh, hosted tournaments and stuff. You can customize uh, maps and heroes, so you can ban certain heroes if you want to. Uh, you can even uh, change like base health and all that kind of stuff. The full uh, work workarounds of it you can see um, on their patch notes. Play versus AI is pretty simple, and this is quick play. Uh, in the training mode, it's a similar kind of thing, tutorial, and there's a new practice range. Practice range is kind of cool. Uh, I'm not going to go into it right now, but it's basically a big empty map with some target dummies for both DPS and healing. Uh, and you can see what damage you can do. This is the big one, the hero gallery. As you can see, I've got a, a new new item unlocked. Um, and this is all the heroes. Now you can see that there's unlocks for all of them. Uh, I've got a couple of things unlocked. Beta just started a backup today. I've played about five or six games. And, well, there's a lot of stuff to get for each character. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. Um, but, you can see here, if you just pick Bastion, you've got skins. So, you've got varying different types of skins that you can get. A lot of them are just reskins, but or recolors. But the uh, more expensive ones um, have a little bit more to them. Um, you can see there. Uh, now the numbers in parentheses beside them is the cost in credits. I don't have any credits at the moment, but once you earn credits in game, you can use them to purchase this, and that would be unlock. And if you get it, you can equip it. And I'll see if I can show you some other character skins, uh, some of the cooler ones. I'm gonna do a video with all of them because there's quite a lot. Um, let me see. Got this. Noir skin, I think that's the one they advertised on the pre-order, or close to it. Here we go, there's a totally customized skin, that's pretty awesome. That's a thousand credits for these two. Uh, I wonder what Frozen is. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, some of the other best, better ones, I think, are... Reinhardt's... Bloodheart and Blackheart. Again, a thousand credits each one. Uh, they're pretty awesome. So I'm going to do a video with all the all the skins on it, but you get the idea. Um, you can unlock emotes now. You don't have emotes unlocked by default. So this is the only one that Reinhardt has. And previous version of the beta, you had that unlocked automatically. Now have to purchase it or get it uh, in a in a random drop. Um, we have only one emote for Winston. Some of them have more than one emote, uh, most of them just have one. The other thing that you can see is victory poses. So it's pretty standard and you can now also rotate your character as you can see. Over the shoulder, salute. This one's pretty cool, I really like that one. Again, I'll go through all of the actual victory poses and uh, emotes in another video. We've got voice lines. I actually have unlocked some, I think, for perhaps McCree. I've unlocked I one voice line. You are the dead. Watch and learn. I've got a bullet with your name on it. I'm your Huckleberry. Time is on my side. Keep calm and brace her on. So there's quite a selection of things. Uh, you also have sprays to unlock, and look at this: 90 different sprays you can unlock. Going right back to uh, CS with your custom sprays, 
Um, I've unlocked this one myself. It's a uh, general spray, so it's not specific to each character. We have a lot of character specific ones. Again, there's literally hundreds of these, hundreds of these things, guys. So you're probably best looking at these on a website where you can browse them all at once. But uh, you get the idea. There's lots of stuff to unlock. And then the highlight intro. This might be the best best thing they've done. So when you um, get a play of the game, previously your character just does his little intro, um, doesn't do much. But now you got these highlight intros, and well, they're pretty epic. My favorite so far, I think, is probably Lucio, but I have... I really like Lucio. That's pretty cool. And the last one. A little bugged graphically there, but it's pretty cool. So again, guys, you can see there's a lot of stuff that you can unlock. 85 unlocks for him alone. And, well, yeah, there's a lot of characters, so, and more to come. So, you're not going to run out of things to collect if that's your bag. Uh, if you just want to play for fun, you're going to get them anyway. What happens is when you finish a game, you get experience points, and you have a chance to get a loot box. Um, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think a loot box is only awarded to you when you level up. I currently have two. And this is what it looks like when you open one. Pretty epic. So I unlocked a voice line, a spray, voice line, and a spray. So no skins. We're all animals. That's for the next time I play Roadhog. This is a Zenyatta specific spray. Don't get caught with your beard in the letterbox. Okay. And this is a spray for Tracer. One more box to open. And I got 50 credits. Uh, so that's the 50 credits. I want to preview that. Can't equip it, obviously. Turn it up in my headphones. I'll take that. <laughs> I'm the ultimate crushing machine. I'm sure you are. And the last one is a spray for Farah. So now I have 50 credits, and I can actually use that to buy, as far as I know, anything I wish for that cost. So let's see how much are skins. Well, they're 75, so I can't buy a skin. Um, I kind of want his um, epic skins. Oh, I should show you this one. I forgot. One that stood out is McCree. Now this one's pretty awesome. And I like this one too. So, yeah. I'm going to do a video on all the skins because there's quite a few. And the highlight intros. But you get the idea. Um, you can now use that currency to purchase something. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like buying anything for 50. But you get the idea. You just use unlock and you would purchase it. Uh, the next thing they added was um, the social screen which is an easier friends list to, to navigate gives you the whole thing if you're in a group who's in the group and any invites you have maybe on the screen um, career profile they said this is a work in progress looks pretty good to me as it is um, it gives you a lot of stats again you can see your eliminations final blows uh, all that kind of stuff hero comparison so I've only played like four games five games played mostly Lucio and uh, Soldier and you can see my level here at the bottom and the experience left required to get to level 6 um, there's nothing that you can check to see what level 6 will give you, what level 7 etc or I don't even know what the maximum level is um, so I think you just get a loot box every time you level up I've gotten four loot boxes so far and I'm level 5 so that would make sense um, you can filter between time played, games 1 
eliminations, etc. Stats here. Again, you can filter between each character if you wish. And total medals, total cards, total damage done. Uh, total assists, healing done. Any gold medals you've gotten. Multi kills, defensive assists, most healing you've done in a game. All of that lovely stat stuff for you stat guys is right there. Um, the next thing over then is your player icon. So it's basically just your avatar. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how you unlock these. I think they're probably similar. They just drop in loot boxes. You're given two by default. We've got some nice references to Warcraft here. Um, pretty cool one. There's a bunch of stuff that's pretty awesome. Character specific ones. And some generally just really cool ones. Um, so yeah. You're not going to unlock this stuff soon. You're going to have a lot of fun getting all of this, uh, all these goodies. And so the progression system is definitely something I would say is good. They definitely needed some kind of thing for the character and your player to aim for. And it doesn't seem to be in any way a pay to win. It's all cosmetic. And I don't believe there is a shop link, but it's not active. So I don't know how the shop works at this time. They haven't posted anything about the shop. Uh, it could be a purchase with real money kind of deal. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Again, if I'm wrong, if I've missed anything, feel free to correct me. But as of now, I don't know anything about the shop. Uh, career profile. We already looked at that. Options. Well, if you're really into the options, and you like to pump your graphics up, you'll be... Uh, loving this stuff. Uh, mine are all low at the moment because my machine is dying. And I do have a new machine coming in the mail uh, in the next two weeks. So next videos the quality will be considerably higher in regards to the graphics. But you can see there's a lot of stuff. They've even added colorblind options here. Um, which is fantastic. Um, all your texture filtering quality, FXAA, etc. is all there. The sound now is much better. You can control the individual sounds. The music was quite obnoxious in the previous build. Uh, controls. There's nothing really here. Not really much to do. But the key bindings is where it lays. You can see that they've built in some controls for the actual gamepad. So I'm sure you can use an uh, Xbox 360 gamepad if you wish to, or PS4 or 3. Um, and you can rebind all the keys for um, standard mouse usage. Gameplay options, they added the skip kill cam option. Uh, I went right to turn it on because I kill cam got on my nerves in the, in the previous build. But it actually is, I think it's better to have it, um, honestly. So I, I would keep that off. It gives you a lot of valuable information uh, as to who killed you and where they are. Um, if you you know happen to get killed by someone you didn't see them like a sniper. Um, kill feed display is quite cool. Uh, it's exactly what it says in the very top right hand corner. It just shows uh, who killed who. It's very discreet. It's not obnoxious in any way. And then the social is very basic at the moment. Profanity filter. I'm sure they'll probably add more on there. Um, maybe uh, an option to hide yourself in Battle.net and appears offline or go away. Can't currently do that in the game. So that is the basic options menu and the new progression system. And it really is fantastic. I can't wait to get deeper into this. Um, it's one of those things where I'm sure they're going to wipe progress when they launch. So it's one of those things where you're kind of reluctant to get too much or too far into it, but you still really want to play it. So you'll end up knee deep in, in this stuff anyway. Um, same thing happened with Heroes of the Storm. I got ranked to level 40 and then they wiped my progress and I was like, yeah. Motivation to get to the, that level again was low. So maybe I won't play too, too much in the beta, just, you know, get to know the new maps. So one thing I forgot to mention, and it's actually quite important, is um, the FPS limiter. In the previous build, you were limited to 30 FPS. That is no longer the case. Uh, you can now unlock it. Uh, so the sky is the limit for your machine. Or you can set it to display, uh, which I'm sure just tells you what your current one is. So limited or unlimited. Um, so it's quite a big a big thing. I know a lot of people are upset about the 30 FPS 
uh, issue in the previous build so looks like that's gone away uh, you also have the field of view options it goes all the way up to 103 uh, which seems to be sufficient for most people I don't really have a big deal with it um, but uh, that's it guys hopefully um, just giving you some good information about the, the state of the beta it is still planned to come out in spring so there's no official uh, release date for it from Blizzard but you know you know those guys they'll tell you soon um, as much as they can so yeah hopefully if you weren't hyped about this you are a little bit more hyped and thank you for watching I'll have some more videos coming up over the next couple of weeks and I will talk to you guys next time thank you